Hey Virgo, welcome to your October mid-month tarot reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply, so just take what does and leave what doesn't for the next person. I could be picking up on past, present, or future energy, so if this doesn't resonate right away, that's okay. It may be something that happens down the line. Keep it in your back pocket, it never hurts. Or you can always come back to this video at a later time. I can be picking up on somebody in or around your environment, whether that is a friend, family member, co-worker, ex, lover, whoever you're dealing with, alright? So just swap the roles if you have to, it still resonates. I'd be talking to you as if it's actually somebody you're dealing with. So if that's the case, just swap the roles, it's all good. I swear a lie, if you don't like swearing, click off this video, there's your little warning, okay? Have a blessed day. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, I am going to be looking into your recent past your present energy, what's going on in the present moment, and expect the timelines, your head to this, and then advice. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's see what happened in a Virgo's recent past. Come to Virgo's recent past, please show it clearly. What went on in Virgo's recent past? What can you, all right. Okay, we're ready, I guess. We have the King of Swords reverse, Aquarian energy, Five of Swords, Oof, Tower reverse, and Ten of Pentacles reverse. Ooh, uh, okay. What the hell went down in your past? We're about to find out. <clears throat> so, Virgo, it's looking like there is definitely a tower moment here with the tower, but it's reversed, so you're rebuilding yourself up, okay? You're building yourself back up, you're building that foundation. It was a sudden ending. It had to happen so that you can start something brand new. So you're building yourself back up. But there could have been conflict or like an argument. Maybe this is it regarding the family. Um, there could have been like family drama going on. And I think you were very, very defensive, very cold, very straight to the point. But also almost like <sighs> either some of you may have been making irrational choices. Okay, because the King of Swords reversed. Sometimes he makes decisions and then regrets them down the line because he didn't think it out thoroughly. So take it if it applies. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right. But some of you may also be just very sharp or like very moody for some. Like very just like, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Don't piss me off. Don't say the wrong thing. Otherwise, I'm going to snap is what I'm getting from this. And I'm like, ooh. See, like me even saying, like some of you may be like this or like, I'm scared. Like, don't like come at me. What are you guys going through? Like, anyway, so, um, definitely a tower moment here. We'll look into whatever the fuck went down. Could have been regarding family drama with the Five of Swords and then Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is about a foundation here. A strong foundation that came crashing down. Okay. And I think you're trying to rebuild yourself and heal from this, but it's... Let's just fucking get right into it. Let's clarify. Oh! Yeah, oops. Let's clarify. <laughs> the King of Swords Reverse, please. Can be dealing with Aquarius, Scorpio, Air Sign, Earth Sign. Doesn't have to be. I'm stating what energy is on that showing up. Alright. If the cards want to shuffle, that'd be great. We have the Ten of Cups here. Okay, so showing out. Could have been a family member or somebody you share a home with. Talking about your home life, possibly. Drama, where you live, your roommate, I don't know. Anyway, talking about the King of Swords reverse for Virgo. Oh, wait, right. your cards already. Talking about the King of Swords. Queen of Swords reverse. Tell me about the King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords. Oh, Six of Pentacles re oh. <laughs> reverse. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse, please. Five of Cups reverse. Okay, we have two fives on the table. Anything else for the King of <laughs> and it's like I'm like speaking and then it just cuts me off like uh, and then I'm, uh, and then uh, like okay damn all right um so with the King of Swords reverse Aquarian energy here we also have Queen of Swords reverse Libra energy so uh, you may have like a lot of air in your chart or you could be dealing with somebody who has a lot of air in their chart doesn't have to be though and I just saw five 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 on my timer so like five 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 like okay <sighs> definitely just very guard up kind of sharp tone attitude some of you a little bitchy that's okay we all go through moments and periods where we're bitchy and shit like 
I admit it. I am going through shit like that too. At least we can acknowledge and admit it. And that's the first step to moving forward, right? So there's definitely something that was either one-sided or unbalanced or something that just wasn't fair. Maybe it was like one, their way or the highway or just like it was always like their way or no way, right? And um, I feel like there was definitely disappointment here in the past regarding whatever this was. Somebody could have been feeding you breadcrumbs or very just like in and out, wishy-washy as fuck here. Maybe there was multiple people. And uh, with the world here, I feel like you're closing out this cycle. You're closing this chapter. Basically, you're closing this chapter. You're done with it. Maybe that was what this tower moment was. And we're going to look into that because that's next. Definitely have your guard up towards whatever this was, though. No longer dwelling on the past. No longer crying over spilt milk. He needs some milk. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the tower reversed. Turn the tower reverse for look at this ace of pentacles reverse popped out. Time of the tower reverse for Virgo. Oh my god, stop giving me all these damn cards. <laughs> Turn the tower reverse for Virgo, please. Turn the tower reverse. Okay, we have the two of wands, the fool reverse, anything else, and Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, you're rebuilding yourself after something that maybe was long term. Oh, I almost dropped my card. Oh my god, it would have felt right in the fire. I don't even know if that's a good idea to have a candle right in the middle of my table. I need to think this out. <laughs> um, anyway, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So maybe this is something that was long term, came crashing down, came crumbling down, came to an end, I feel. And... With the two of wands, it's like very slow, stagnant energy, just kind of waiting, waiting, that sounds so weird, um, waiting for the next step. Because we have the full reverse, I feel like you don't really have what you need to move forward just yet. Like you're trying to gather either your thoughts or your plans or your ideas together, coming up with a vision. So therefore you're just kind of waiting and seeing where things go. You're not actually taking the action towards this new step because you're feeling unready. But you may actually end up receiving communication with the Page of Wands and maybe say this is like you're waiting for a job or you're waiting for this or you're waiting for your answer, waiting for the, basically you're waiting for the okay to go, right? You're waiting, wait, <laughs> wow, I can't speak, waiting for the okay so that you can take this leap of faith because right now you aren't taking this leap of faith, you're looking, aren't, looking out into the distance trying to figure out, okay, what am I doing from here? What's my next move? What's my next step? You're waiting for the okay before you take that leap of faith, right? That's kind of what I'm getting from this. And so this communication here with the Page of Wands, I feel it's like that, okay, I'm good. I can go. I can do what I want to do. Let's go into the Five of Swords regarding Virgo's recent past, please. The Devil reversed. Three of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords. Anything else? For the Five of Swords in the recent past? Okay. Knight of Wands. And that fell on top of the Devil Reverse. So you could have been dealing with somebody who was very wishy-washy, very in-and-out type energy. Like I was saying earlier with um, this Six of Pentacles Reverse, right? Somebody who plays games, very manipulative, was it's their way or the highway. That's really what I'm getting from this. And then even with the Knight of Wands, I'm just very in and out. Very in and out. Unable to stick to a decision or just like can't make up their mind. And with the Three Cups reverse, it's just, and then the Knight of Swords. It's like, I almost feel like either you or, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at the colors. Oh shit, look at the colors. Okay, look at this. You see it's like very yellowy hot and warm colors versus this yellowy blue not really yellow it's more like white blue type colors like i feel like whatever this devil type energy could be dealing with the capricorn it's like you're what <laughs> you're running away from this you're running away you're putting distance between um the devil really and you're going that way whereas the devil 
I mean, they may try and come back, but you're like, hell no, I'm putting distance between us. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. So that you can heal from the situation and reflect and get past this. Let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is reversed about. Ten of Pentacles reversed. I'm getting a headache. Oh my god. I don't like it. Turn up the Ten of Pentacles reversed for Virgo in the recent past, please. And now I'm starting to get really hot. Okay, what is going on? What is going on in this reading? I don't know. Turn up the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Chariot, Knight of Cups, and Temperance could be dealing with a Cancerian, a Sagittarius. We also have more water over here with the Knight of Cups. So. I'm feeling very conflicted energy. It's like you're pulled two different ways here. Like maybe you had a decision to make and you were kind of stuck in the middle and you weren't really sure. Okay, what what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. Ooh, I'm like being tugged both sides. I don't like see. All right, for some, maybe it's like you got stuck in the middle of like some drama and there's two other people and you're in the middle of it and they're making you choose. Well, me or them, you got to choose and you're like, what the fuck? Who makes me choose between you or them like why would you make me choose and so honestly i feel like you ended up just choosing yourself with temperance finding your own peace within you you're like fuck you you're gonna make me choose or both of you are like both people are saying hey virgo you need to choose are you with me or are you with them and it's just like how dare you make me choose bitch i'm choosing myself fuck you and fuck you i'm doing me i'm choosing me not you not you i'm choosing me period right and so you choose yourself here because like look you're the middle man over here you're middle you were this middle man what, what is his face he oh he's like he's like <laughs> you see look 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 i don't know there's like a glare um i don't know if you can see his face maybe you can maybe you can't but he's just like <laughs> he has like his mouth open he's just like so he's like shook. He's like, I don't know what to do. Black horse going that way. White horse going this way. I don't know which way to go. I'm going to just like let them both go. And I'm going to just walk, basically. And um, then we have the Knight of Cups here. Let's quickly uh, look into the ton of the Knight of Cups. Oh, four of swords, seven of swords. Anything else? Eight of Wands, you may be receiving communication. Oh, we have the sun on the bottom of the deck. Um, you may be receiving communication. Oh, so you choose yourself, right? You choose my own inner peace and myself. How dare you make me choose? Fuck you and fuck you. I'm choosing me. Well, honestly, this horse, the white horse, kind of be looking the same as the horse in this one. I mean, like, obviously, it's just a tarot deck. But... It's like maybe one of the people you were stuck in the middle of, they come back and they try to be, communicate. But it's just like, fuck you, man. I'm taking time to rest and heal. And I know you're up to no good. You're trying to plan to get me back on your side. It's like I've said before. I'm staying with me. Not on your side, not on their side. I'm staying within me. If you want to be friends with me, cool. If they want to be friends with me, cool. But don't you dare make me decide, right? Hmm. Very specific message. Now, that didn't have to apply to everybody. Like, certain messages may only apply to some people. So, just, there's a little storyline over here. But there's some type of communication or forward movement, action-based card here with the Eight of Wands. Very fast. And I feel like you're just trying to rest and recuperate and get your balance back. Store your biz business. Business for some. Maybe you're all starting a business. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just move forward from this. Ugh, I'm starting to get a really bad headache right now. But a bitch does not quit. Alright, so it's probably the present moment for Virgo, someone rising Venus, regarding their current moments in October. What's going on in the present moment for Virgo? Tell me about Virgo's present moment, what they're currently going through. What's the current energy for Virgo, something rising Venus in October 20 Oh! Gosh! We had the Ace of Pentacles flying out. God, that flew far. And that landed on the world 
which the world is all about wrapping up the old and saying hello to the new. So with the Ace of Pentacles, that's a brand new opportunity here. And the fact that it landed on the world, it's like once you wrap up whatever this shit was, brand new things are coming towards you. Brand new. All right, let's see what else. All right. Kind of, maybe you got a new job for some. Justice. Damn, justice be coming up for everybody. Uh, the present moment for Virgo. I know that. Okay, I'll take these two. Star and three of pentacles reversed. Page of swords at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> so definitely a new beginning here, a new opportunity. Whether this is your career and finances, money, materialistic, or maybe this is a new friend, a new long-term thing. Something that's going to be long-term and beneficial for you. It's kind of like a reward, right? We'll look into that. We also have justice here. So it's all about justice, right? Gaining balance and clarity and speaking your truth and just standing your ground. And I mean, some of you could be doing a court case, but I mean, hey, it's Libra season. So Libra's car is always going to be popping up. You may be dealing with a Libra. Oh, God. Sorry. Just like, oh my God, my head kills right now. <sighs> gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. Okay. <laughs> Man, what the fuck's going on? It's like really intense um and i lost my train of thought i was gonna say something regarding this card and it just disappeared um we'll move on if it comes back it comes back and i'll say it we have the star here it could be dealing with aquarius you may have like this this wish this desire to follow your passions follow this dream and that could be what this ace of pentacles is about like this reward and finally you get in this reward to follow your dream and go through with what you truly want to do <clears throat> It's all about being positive and optimistic about your future and staying inspired. Now you also maybe be just being your true authentic self and just being who you really are and that there's no mask and you're just doing your own thing. If people want to support you, great. If people want to hate, fuck them. I don't give a shit. Like, I'm going to keep on doing me. And like, the three of pentacles reversed here. I'm not loving that. <sighs> we'll look into that because I don't want to speak much on it until I get some more insights. So let's go into the three of pentacles reversed quickly first not quickly but like first things first right i don't fuck you guys got me fucked up i don't know what the fuck this energy is but oh my god got me real fucked up even my throat is kind of like <clears throat> kind of like you know acted up i'm like okay this was not happening in leo's no anyway three pentacles reverse please or right tower high priestess reverse and four of wands so some type of truth or secrets coming out something being exposed here major so damn and so you're trying to rebuild yourself and then bam the tower comes crumbling down again it's just like are you fucking serious could be dealing with scorpio all right so something again unexpected that you did not see coming and so this is regarding possibly the workplace oh Maybe you're leaving your current job to follow your passion and somebody doesn't like it. And so maybe you end up, you tell, you tell your boss and you're like, you know, I'm thinking about leaving. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I really have this dream. I have this passion. And like, I really think I'm going to fall through with them. And then they get triggered and they're like, fuck you, man, you're fired. Obviously they're not going to say fuck you, but like they may fire you. And then like, boom, crashing down. And they're like, wow. I was just being authentic to them, and I was just telling them what I was feeling, what I was thinking, and they just came, they didn't even want to support me, they didn't want to help me, because the Three of Pentacles is all about support and, like, helping each other on their journey, right? <clears throat> but it's just, like, something here was exposed, whether this was a behavior of some sort. Now, maybe this wasn't a bug, maybe this was a friend or something, like, it doesn't have to be a boss, because Pentacles can also be talking about friends or, like, the family. Maybe people weren't very supportive of you, and that made you have this sudden realization, like, wow. Hold on, the car fucking flew. <sighs> okay. Made you realize, like, wow. These people that I'm surrounded by have no good intentions. They don't believe in me. They, and they're exposing themselves. With the high priestess reverse, they're exposing their true colors. Like, why would I want to surround myself around people like this when I can go and follow my dreams and receive all the success and celebration and abundance, you know? Like, why would I stick around with people who don't even believe in me and wish me to s fail when I could be around people who want to see me succeed, right? That could be for some. Damn. 
You got you do what you gotta do. Cut those motherfuckers out. You don't need their shit. <clears throat> Let's go into the star. Turn out the star for Virgo. Someone rising this. Turn out the star for Virgo. Five of Wands. <clears throat> so you're very conflicted. Do I stay and keep these people in my life? Or do I move towards a place where I'm not really sure about or like I'm not really sure if it's going to work out left. We have the star for the star. You're kind of, you know, feeding both ideas because she's feeding both sides of um, each side of her, right? You see what I'm talking about? The two cups she's pouring out on both sides. So you're feeding both ideas and you're kind of conflicted with each idea. You're like, I like this idea. I want to follow my passion. But that's also like out of my comfort zone and I don't know if I can do it. And like, I have all these fears and whatever the fuck. And then I have this and I'm like, I don't know if I should leave this behind or if I should stay in it. And like, so you're very conflicted here. That's why we have the five of wands. Very conflicted. You're not really sure what to do. Well, spirit's basically saying with a hangman, take a moment. It's okay. Time to just reflect and look at this from a different perspective. And this regarding your dream, whatever this dream is, you need to look at this from a different perspective and really come up with your priorities. What is What matters to you the most, right? What's going to bring happiness to you? What's going to help you succeed and reach your end goal? Anything else for the star? For the present moment in King of Wands, CR? Very creative, right? He takes on leadership roles. He doesn't give a shit about what other people think. He just goes for it and that's it, period. Like, he's going to go after his endeavors and he takes on, <sighs> takes on that. He's, like, very passionate, right? He's very persistent. He doesn't give up. He, even if somebody doesn't believe in him, you know what he does? He proves them wrong. He proves them wrong. He's like, huh, you don't believe in me? You think I'm going to fail? Don't come to me when I succeed. Don't you dare try and hit me up when you see I'm living my best life. Don't hit me up when you see that I'm doing better than you. Don't you dare. And don't say that you're proud of me or that you were, oh my god, congrats. Like, no. I see right through your shit. I'm being authentic as fuck. But I'm also very fucking intuitive, bitch. So don't test me. Otherwise, I'm going to call your ass out. I'm going to call your ass out. Because you didn't support me when I needed you the most. Three pentacles reversed. Not being supportive. Not working together. Not collaborating. And now the fuck that I'm deciding... What's best for me and following through with my passion, my ideas, my creativity, my dream, and I'm succeeding. You want to come back to me and tell me, oh, you're doing so great. I'm so proud of you. No, bitch, you made me choose between you and another person. Oh, like, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> God, got me heated. <sighs> but no, I see that you're going to end up making the choice that's best for you and you're going to follow through with it. And it doesn't matter what other people's thinking about you because you're gonna do what's best for you and you don't give a shit if people like it people hate it because what matters is what you truly think period and wow my headache just disappeared just like that like i had like like it felt like tension right like probably my third eye acting the fuck up and now it's gone and i feel like almost like a weight lifted off my shoulder that's some i swear doing these readings every day it's always different some days I'm like not even affected by it. Some days I'm like, ooh, I'm drained by the first reading. Drained. Drained it. <laughs> drained by the first reading. Let's go into justice. Strength. Yeah, see? You're using that inner strength. You're not letting anybody take that strength away from you because you're pulling that shit from your heart and you believe in yourself. And like that passion you got is coming from within you, within your soul. And like people are like, how did Virgo do that? Oh my god, how did they succeed? How did they do so well for themselves? Bitch, because it came from the heart. Because I'm real, I'm authentic, and I'm not gonna fake shit. You know? There he is. Judgment and Knight of Pentacles wanna pop out. We'll take him. Making that decision, right? Final decision. That judgment call. The Like, it's like, you know, the judge and he has like that hammer and he's like, boom, decision's been made. Like, that's you and you made that decision to follow your dream. You know it's going to be slow and it's going to take time and you're going to have to work for it. It's not going to happen overnight. But you realize that it's going to be best for you. And you're going to do what's best for you and like, you can give a fuck what other people think. That's your justice. Following yourself. Learning from those life lessons from the past and... Queen of Cups reverse. See, there may be people who try to manipulate you or try to hold you back or keep you from growing, but you know better than that. And you, it's like you have your back turned towards people like that. You have your back turned 
You see that? He's like, uh, he's like, I'm going that way. I have this chemical in my hand and I'm watching it grow. And yeah, there's bitches that want a piece of it, but I'm not going to give it to them. Period. Yeah, four cups. What on the deck? I'm not going to fucking give it to them. It's not what I want. I don't want their shit. I don't want that. I don't want them pulling out my heartstrings. Fuck that shit. Bye. There's the door. I'm gonna go follow my dream. Like, I don't even know, man. Let's go to the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. Turn the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, girl, all right, all right, all right. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. I like it. You have the two of cups here. I fuck with it. Five of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. So, a lot of earth energy here picking up on you guys, I guess. It's looking like you're going to be doing just fine on your own. You're the whole wifey material. You're the whole fucking package. Hubby material. You do it all. And people be jealous of that. People be jealous of that. But you know what? You're planting those seeds because when you plant those seeds, you know what you get? A whole motherfucking garden. You water that grass, you wait for it to grow, and then suddenly we go from like dirt. You see this? Dirt over here, maybe some corn, right? Towards a whole ass lush garden. You see that shit? It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time to grow, but you recognize that. And you may have had to leave people out in the dust, out in the cold, because they did not resonate with you no longer. And that's okay, because you got better people coming your way, coming together with new people, new opportunities, new people who want to support you. And it's like an exchange, like you support them, they support you, and it's just a perfect balance. And that's this brand new opportunity that's awaiting you right now. So, whether you've gone through this, or this is in your near future, or like this is your past, because we're all going through different timelines. Either way, it's looking great. So let's go into the expected timelines. This is like, what next? So let's see what can we expect from here on out. And then we'll get advice. So talking about the expected timelines for Virgo in October 2019, the second half of October. One of the expected timelines on where Virgo is headed towards. Where is Virgo headed? Where is Virgo headed in the near future regarding the last spread? Where is Virgo expected to go in the near future regarding the current timelines picking up on? Where is this expected to go? Where is this expected to leave for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Where is this expected to go from the Virgos? Where is this expected to head for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of October 2019? Alright, we're ready. Where is this expected to head for my Virgos? <clears throat> Alright. Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, Strength, and the. <coughs> <laughs> the moon, oh my god, I can't. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know where the fuck that just came from. Sorry yeah, if I fucking killed your ears. <coughs> that's so weird to have, like, that's so weird. I, like, my throat be acting up. Like, now it's just, like, I feel like there's, like, a tickle in my throat. And it's just like, yo, am I getting sick now? Maybe some of you were sick or dealing with, like, your cough or, like, something with your throat. I don't know. Anyway. Doesn't matter. We have Temperance here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. We have the Moon. Could be dealing with Pisces or Cancer for me. Okay, so. You're finding, like I said, you're finding the yourself. You're, you're finding yourself. Okay, great. 10 out of 10. Um, you know, you're finding your true self, you're finding calm within you and peace of mind, and you're not letting anybody get in the way, whether they believe in you or they don't. It's like, whatever, I'm gonna do me, whether you like it or not, and, um, period, that's it. I'm keep on planting my seeds, I'm gonna wait for my garden to grow, I'm gonna keep watering and taking good care of it, because I know in the end it's gonna benefit me, and if you don't believe in me, that's your own, that's your own loss, because just wait, when I prove you wrong, you're gonna regret it. And you're using that inner strength 
and you're going to continue to keep pushing yourself. You're going to get through whatever hurdles come your way, whatever bumps in the road. You're going to get past that. You're going to be strong and get through it. You're going to be listening to that intuition of, thank you, my crystal saved my car from flying. You're going to be definitely listening to that intuition because it's going to help guide you to where you're supposed to be. I feel, oh my god, I swear, I kept feel, felt like somebody was tapping my head. Stop doing that shit. It's fucking weird. It's so strange. Like, it literally felt like someone was just like, tap. I'm like, ooh, it's just fucking weird. I swear, some of these readings are like, what the fuck's going on? The last reading I did for Leo, I smell perfume. I swear, like, sometimes nothing happens and sometimes the weirdest shit happens. It's so fucking weird. Anyway, I listen to that intuition of yours, especially it was just the full moon in Aries. So, like, a moon, man. The motherfucking moon. Anyway, let's, let's get clarifying, shall we? Tell me about temperance for Virgo in the near future. I just see that you're being balanced and calm within you. It's all about that harmony and this peace, right? Peacefulness. Maybe surrounding yourself in nature. Turn out temperance for Virgo in the near future. Six of Pentacles for temperance. <clears throat> what is this? Two of Wands. Okay. Turn <clears throat> temperance. Oh, and temperance for temperance. Okay, so regarding temperance, all about that inner peace within you, inner wisdom, calm, peace of mind. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles here, I like it. So you're going to be having better people in your life that want to support you, where it's equal give and take. It's not one side. It's not their way or the highway. It goes both ways. It's a two-way street. It's a two-way street. And um, you're investing in situations, relationships that are equal, not one-sided. That period. That's it. Finding the calmness and peace within you and finding more clarity, right? Seeing shit. For exactly as it is. Oh, this card, I just realized that the sun is in the corner. I just, sometimes I'm just like, I realize these things, and I'm just like, how did I not realize this before? But just like, behind the mountain is the sun. So just know happiness is on its way. If things have been a little bit rocky, a little bit tough, just know, beyond the horizon, the sun's coming, alright? So it's just a matter of waiting. We have the two of wands over here. So you're just, again, coming up with that vision, seeing what you want in the future. You're going to be taking time for yourself out, but you're also going to be figuring out, okay, my next move, what am I doing from here? Well, what are you going to be doing? You're going to be planting your seeds, planting that garden of yours. And then the seven of pentacles. Ace of Wands reverse. So again, it's just the reason why it's reverse is because you may feel like you don't have the what you need to make it succeed, right? And so just taking the time to realize what you need in order to take action. That's why it's delayed right now. But once it starts, you're gonna need patience. Seven of Pentacles again. You're gonna need patience. You once this starts, because it hasn't started off yet, or maybe it will. Maybe you already maybe it's starting for you right now. Maybe not. Everybody's going through different timelines, right? So, but it, down the line, whatever this may be, whether that's a week from now, a day from now, a month from now, a year from now, whenever the fuck you've come across this video, um, you're definitely going to need to be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be successful. Tang, things take time to grow. Wow, I can't speak. Ten of Wands reversed. Just about dropping those burdens. You don't need to carry them anymore. Just remember that. Those burdens are going to hold you down. They're going to stop new things from coming in. So it's all about finding that inner strength and wisdom within yourself and pulling yourself out of the mud and not getting caught up in the past for some, all right? Whether that applies or not, like, it's only for some people, but, like, you know, just focus on the present and the future and what you would like to see for yourself. Don't really focus on past and what you... Yeah, look, four pentacles, you need to release anything that you've been holding on to. Don't be holding on to the past. Don't hold on to the past. Don't hold on to the past. It's time to release and let go and move on to new things. Because if you're still holding on to the past, you're going to have a harder time having brand new things coming into your life, right? So if you release and let go, better things are coming towards you. It's all about just having that strength and getting through it. It's just another girl. It's all good. We, look at this. Ten of Pentacles. See, you just, once you release this passion, once you drop these burdens, and you just be patient within yourself and allow things to fall into place, you get an opportunity 
take it. This could be regarding that dream of yours that you want to pursue. And then look at this. Benefit in the end. This all worked out. A reward for you. Because you worked hard for it. And you were patient for it. And it finally came in. Look at this. The star. You were wishing for this. And it came. It didn't take... It didn't take a day, it took a couple, who knows, maybe it did take a day, maybe it took a couple days, or a week, or a month, it doesn't matter, we're all going through different shit, like I said, but either way, though, it worked out in your favor, whatever this dream is, whatever this desire is, because we have the ten of pentacles, go from the ace to the ten, all because you were planting those seeds, and just believing, and being patient, and allowing things to work out the way they need to work out, and it worked out. Just like that. You believe, you trust it, and you get rewarded. Alright? God, I'm feeling drained. Oh, I have to do... Oh, do I... <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, tell me about the moon. The devil, don't fall into those temptations, alright? Don't go back into past behaviors. It's about turning that shit down. You may be feeling like it's not happening, but you need to trust within your two intuition. You have two pentacles here, choice and decision. We have justice coming out. Alright, so it's up to you. Do you want to listen to your intuition or do you want to listen to the crowd? Up to you. Because the crowd looking kind of toxic, looking a little bit hefty. I'm not loving it. Do you want to fall back into the old pattern, the old swing, old swing of things? I can't speak for shit. Or do you want to move past this and learn from these life lessons, you know, justice, it's all about those life lessons that you've gone through and what you've experienced and what you can take from those experiences and apply them to the future to not repeat the same old cycles, right? So it's up to you. Do you want to repeat these same cycles? Because the universe will just say yes, 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 till you learn from it, until you jump onto a new cycle, right? So it's up to you. Do you want to repeat or do you want... Advice now. Oh my god, this is getting long. It's getting long. So, any advice for my Virgos? <clears throat> Fuck, I'm tired. Any advice for Virgo? Someone rising Venus? Any advice for Virgo? Someone rising Venus for the second half of October 2019. <clears throat> any advice for Virgo? Any advice for Virgo? Alright, cards are ready. <clears throat> Any advice for Virgo? Oh my god, so many fucking cards. I'll take them. Um, so we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out again. We have Ace of Swords coming out. Oh, drop that shit. Uh, strength coming out again. The Moon again. Justice again. Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Wow. Alright. So Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords taking on a brand new mindset, all right, for advice regarding this new opportunity, regarding work or your dream or whatever the fuck, take on a new mindset, try and look at it from a different perspective, okay, use that inner strength that you, you got, use that um, intuition of yours, it's gonna help guide you, definitely pay attention to those life lessons that you've learned, like I was just saying in the expected outcome is basically the same fucking cards coming out so i'm just like okay so basically what i was just saying i don't really need to repeat myself we also have the queen of pentacles here focusing on your own abundance and security and stability and having everything you need to be successful take advantage of this time okay take advantage of what you know and uh, use it to your <laughs> take use it to your advantage we have the knight of swords here talking about really fast movement energy very fast paced energy here it's like saying that once you really listen to that intuition of yours and you get over whatever hurdles you've gone through and you're looking at shit from a different perspective, 
you're gonna be fucking rewarded and it shit's gonna happen real fast like it's gonna be like um a domino effect you know you make one decision and it's gonna boom 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 they all fall 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 and it leads to like it's like a domino effect you know what i'm fucking trying to say you better <laughs> look up domino you're like who doesn't know what i'm talking about fucking dominoes right like boom boom like i don't even have to explain this shit it's just you make a decision and that one decision changes your whole life so I don't even know what the fuck this reading was about, but if it made sense to you, then that's fucking awesome. <laughs> if um, you got anything, let me know down in the comments below. And um, with that being said, I'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support. The comments, like, shares, donations, it means a fuck ton to me. And I really appreciate all the support. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.